decided that the best course of action for covering up the overspray with spray paint on the walls and on the ceiling is to to dye the carpet a different colour. I've had this dye for a number of years now and I've not really used it. Before I apply any of this to the inside of the van, what I'd like to do is put some into a spray bottle and apply it to a test piece of carpet that I have. How well the dye actually sticks to the carpet in this case um, really depends on what kind of blend the carpet is made out of. The more natural material, material in there, such as wool, uh, and cotton, the better the dye will stick. And now we give that some time to dry and we'll come back and see how it looks later on. Okay, so I've given that some time to dry and it looks pretty good, actually. It's not too bad. It's pretty black. It's not 100% coverage, but then the materials aren't 100% ab absorbent. So what I'm going to do now is give this another coat of dye, leave that to dry, but give it a longer time to dry, and then see what kind of appearance it has then. Now that it's dry, it looks okay. It's had two coats. It's not 100% black. I didn't expect it to be just because of the material that's used to make the carpet. It's not 100% absorbent. So uh, I think it looks okay. And I think it'll look okay in the van as well. So now I need to move into the van, uh, mask up the areas that I actually want to paint or dye and, uh, and then get on with dyeing inside the van. Don't panic. that the vinyl wasn't going to stick to the carpet particularly well. I've had to back away from using some of the smaller design parts of the template that I'm using in vinyl and just stick with the larger parts of the design. I'm going to finish masking off the area now and then once that's done I can start to spray the dye onto the carpet and then give that some time to dry and uh, peel away and just see what it looks like. Super nervous. <sighs> 
well that's the first coat applied um, I guess I've got to leave it for quite a while now to dry because there's quite a lot of beading on the lettering on the vinyl um, so I couldn't remove that anywhere but I do need to apply a second coat probably I think um, although coverage does look good initially but we'll see what that looks like when it dries I honestly hope that that would turn out better than it has. Um, despite masking everything up, I still managed to get dye on parts of the carpet that I didn't want to get dye on. <clears throat> the definition on the logo isn't very good. It was a cool idea, but now I've got a black roof. Okay, I think I can fix this. I can't fix that. This is one of those things where you start out with like a, a, a tiny thing that needs fixing. And so you, you attempt to fix it and it makes it slightly bigger. And then you think you can fix that and, and it just gets bigger and bigger and out of control. Oh God, Ted, look at that. There's a dent in the car. What? Not too bad. Sure, can just straighten that out with the top of a hammer. Uh, have a look in that box over there. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'll just tap it the other way. <laughs> it's no use, Ted. You'll never get it absolutely right. I couldn't leave it the way it was. It, uh, it well, just didn't look finished. So I attacked it again with some more dye and I've kind of left it where it is now. It's perfect. No, it's not perfect, but it's okay. And it's now in a state where I feel like it's finished because it's going to match up um, or, or the be new bed, the new build is going to intersect with it. So it will look different once everything is built around it. But now it's actually at a stage where it is considered done. And that's how it ended up looking and that works fine because the bulkhead at the back of the van will be built up against the edge of it the new bed will be built up against the bottom of it um, so it will just fit in kind of perfect that way uh, and then there will be stuff in the gray area next to the black um, so it will all come together and be cohesive unlike my camera which is not cohesive If there was ever a part of this build that I wish I had not begun, it's this. Dyeing the carpet seemed like a really cool idea until I started to do it. And now it's just getting worse and worse. This is the last time that I'm going to try and fix this. And if it doesn't look okay, I'm not sure, but I'm going to do something severe.